<laughs> I don't know what happened. All I saw was like disconnected. You cannot chat. I was like, no. I even went into the house to check that the plug hadn't come out. I Anyway, it's the gremlins. I'm back, I'm back. Hi, Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. Yes, um, I joined. Did the first one crash? Yes, it did. Hi, Tina. Please tell your friends I'm back. I'm just having a little water. I was happily wittering away to myself on my own. <laughs> anyway, I've not done any stamping though, so you haven't missed anything. <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh dear is my cell plugged in yeah it wasn't my it wasn't my phone it was my internet for some reason it just went it just dropped yep and then i couldn't come back so <sighs> hi everyone sorry about that i need to go and close my door now it's a bit cool I, I ran into the house. <clears throat> oh. Oh, Martina's messaging me. Can everyone else see me okay? Hi, Bonnie. Martina says she can't get past a certain section, but... Oh, hold on. Do I need to share? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. I've not shared the right one, have I? Oh, bear with me, guys. Sorry, I've just realised... Um, sorry. I don't know, I can share this with Martina. For some reason, I cannot share in my broadcast list when I'm on the computer. Right, my, I know what, hold on. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Just give me two minutes. Two minutes, two minutes. I've got to share this with Artful Stamping because I didn't do it properly. Oh, it's very techy. Right. My desk view is back. Right, there we go. Okay, let's get down to stamping. Let's go, let's go. Right. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Sue. Hi, Martina. Sorry about that. I sent the wrong one out. I'm glad you messaged me, actually, because I wouldn't have realised I'd sent the wrong one out. So thanks for doing that. See, I don't think those are showing up too well. So this is a two-step stamping one. Well, three-step, actually, if you include the trunk. So you can stamp this one, then that one on top for a bit of detail. But I just feel like it needs a bit more. Oh, and I'm not using the mats. So that could be part of the problem as well. Or it could be my pear pizzazz is needing a re-ink. That could very well be the issue. Mm, yeah, it might be. Surprising how dark mint macaron actually is. Oh, 
okay well they're just meant to be kind of in the background anyway some happy little trees i think we'll go for some darker ones of these as well so i am going to get the garden green out now <clears throat> hi serene oh thank you tina <gasps> Yes, Anne, that was the, the the message that I just, that you get a broadcast message from me, Anne, because you're on my broadcast list. Just want to check the ink of that one. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? Happy little trees. wondering whether to bring in some nice little trees here just a little one because this one hasn't got so much of a trunk which sometimes I like Yes, I've activated slow mode, Martina, so that um, it, it's partly to slow the chat down so that if you write a message, you have to wait 20 seconds before you can write a second message. But also I thought it would help if any bots turn up. It's a bit easier to spot them and eliminate them quickly before they could. Because those bots tend to sort of send three or four messages in one go, don't they? And I don't like that. I mean, once is enough. So I thought I'd activate slow mode and see what would happen. Oh no, there's all these little new fandangle things that I've been able to activate, Martina. <laughs> right, I like that. So we need to start building our foreground i know i'm going to put a, i am going to put the deer in at some point and i also want to put this owl in and i'm wondering actually whether to get the owl in now because um i kind of want to build the scene around around the owl maybe i should do the deer right let's get some early espresso Stickers peeled back. Thank you, Sue. So, I'm so for those of you who've just joined, the idea of this scene is I'm going to be popping it onto a notebook. So this is going to cover a notebook. So this is the front and this will be the back. Because it's a certain person's birthday. Is she back, Shaz? It's Shaz's, it was Shaz's 60th birthday recently. And because I can't, I can't practically get round to send, sending everybody a card whenever it's their birthday, I tend to just try and make things for special birthdays. Right. Just gonna grab garden bird houses. Oh, and I could do with something that has a branch in it. Because that 
one. And the squirrel. I just feel like we need some sort of foliage coming through here. So what if we get I think we get a bit of garden green on this. And get early espresso pen. And then what you do is you have your blender pen. I know I'm going to move this out of the way just so that I can show you what I'm doing. Get a blender pen and what you do, you use your blender pen to take off the green. Of the main trunk or stalk or whatever you want to call it and then I'm going to add a brown up through there because don't often have green trunks do we right bring this back <sighs> just re moisten Oh, I like that. Right, try that again. So ink with the green. Remove with the blender pen. So that's another use for blender pens. Oh, lots of green on there. Actually, I think that blender pen is very dry. So it's sort of acting like a paintbrush, really. <coughs> Thank you, Martina. Oh, sorry, you know, it was me. I... I was having issues then. We are going to add more foliage, so right. But before I add the foliage might just do a couple more sort of trunks like like they've sort of fallen down or, or actually maybe that one could be part of that one it would help if I put a sticker on I'd be able to visualize it a bit better Okay, so I'm looking at where I want this trunk to go and I don't want it to go all the way down past that piece there. So I'm going to put my finger just there. You know what, I should have opened my ink pad first. Right, there we go, open ink pad first. Right, so because I don't want this ink to go further than that point now, I'm going to put my finger there so that I know that that's as much as I want it inked up and then hopefully if I don't move my finger I might get it in the right place oh yeah that's not too bad artistically placed branch that's what we're having I think we could have another one coming up there couldn't we so that's Yeah, 
That'll be alright. Got a little wee one there. Oh, that was clever. I made that part of that. <laughs> These are those happy little shrubs that Bob Ross talks about. You know, those little sticks that stick out. That's what this one <laughs> reminds me of those. <laughs> happy little sticks. <laughs> Oh no! Oh, Glenn is back. The the trunk is from perched in a tree. This one, so cute. Right, and I think we'll come back and use some of the dotage from that. So, Glenna, you better not go away anywhere. Right, so I need to build up the foliage then in the foreground. Now I didn't use the squirrel one in the end because I don't I don't think I need it, so I'm going to leave that one out. Don't want it to confuse me. Um, I think that is too big, and but this one, this fern, might be useful in a second. Have that in the foreground. Then, so I'm just looking at what I've got here. Oh, this one's quite nice, Wildlife Wonder, but I think it would be nice to make this look like some sort of flower. So, Shaz, what colour do you think I should do those little flowers? I'll, I'll go with what you want on this one. I don't need that one. I don't need that one. I'm going to use this one now, I think. A little trunk to the side, couldn't we? Couldn't we? I wonder if that would look a bit. Oh, I think we could. Could have a, tr a trunk, like a fallen log type of thing. We do see those. I'm wondering whether to do an early espresso and then just do a bit of colouring in. Good night, Janice. Sleep well. Right. Ooh, I'm getting a weird mottling on my crumb cake. Who else has had that? Can you see that? I might need to wash this out. It's gone a bit weird. Unless I've put it and something else in there by accident. Oh, I wonder if I've, um, I'm going to have to get a new one. Look at that. I think I might have put something in there by accident that I shouldn't have. That's a bit weird. Hmm. I think, I think sometimes I'm a bit naughty and I end up putting stuff that I shouldn't near my ink pads. That's actually starting to disintegrate, which is a bit weird. And I'm afraid I bought it so long ago that um, I don't think I can claim <laughs> claim anything back from Stampin' Up! about that one. I think we need a little touch of uh, Cajun craze. Just a little touch, nothing, nothing huge. I'm just going to use my small brush that my friend gave me. I 
Oh, do you, Carolee? Oh, it's a bit odd. Now, I know that there has been an issue with some of the... So any pigment... They said any stamp sets that have got a bit of red in them, there's issues with the carrier where it separates from pigment. But, I mean, like Cajun Crazy would think that had... Would, you know, that would be the one with an issue. But no, that one's fine. Put some stump. Just put some colour around the place as well. Okay. Got a nice pile of stamps here and <laughs> ink pads. Okay, let's just have a little think, see what's happening here. So I know I definitely want some more plantation definitely want some mushrooms Shaz did you say what colour you wanted Yellow or orange. Okay, yes. You want to live in this scene, says Mindy. Or oh. right, we'll go for the garden green then, because basically, as the images are getting closer to us, they can get darker. Right, I think I might grab a bit of old olive as well, just for a bit of variation. Okay, I like that. So I mustn't forget I've got that lovely fern. Might pop that in now. I've got a bit of space. Hi, Georgie. Yeah, this is going to go on a, a notebook cover. It's going to be a notebook cover, rather. Really showing up very well because it, it I did use early espresso which is quite dark but anyway I'm, I might go in with some evening evergreen with this later but before we do that I've still got some of these other oh actually let me just see where my fungi are gonna go oh they would tend they would grow out of the They would grow out of the 
tree, wouldn't they? Right, let's see if soft suede would do this. I hope it is. If not, I might have to make these early espresso, which is going to be a bit odd, but to help them show up, I might have to do that. Or, or I could stamp with the white ink first. Hold on, bear with. Right, so my problem is that I've got to stamp so much in that background that I'm afraid my brown isn't going to show up too well. So I'm just going to try doing this. Oh, this is going to get cut up into two, Georgiana, and a rubber cover. Okay, the white doesn't show up hugely, but it's not. I just want to try and create a bit of opaqueness. Is that the right word I want? Like a gouache would. Because gouache you can paint on top of gouache, can't you? I think. Don't need it to be as long as that. So I'm just going to take that off. You, I, <laughs> I bet you guys can hardly see that, but I know it's there. Oh, well, I tried. Oh, see, hi, Jodie. Is that Jodie saying goodbye or are you saying hello, Jodie? Oh, Shaz is going. Shaz Conabeer. Okay, see you, Shaz. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. Right, so this was a full strength one. I'm a bit scared that this is not going to show up. Oh, it does. It did help putting that white ink down. Kind of. Oh, hold on, I've got to take that bit off, haven't I? Okay. Just about. I've got to figure out where this one is now. Okay, go okay. there. Right, just about worked. Where are my shrooms? Got to have these red, haven't we? Bit of colour. Oh, see you, Bonnie. I like that. Not a lot, but I like it. <laughs> Hi, Andrea.
Oh, and if, I don't know if, um, we didn't get to wish on her birthday, unless she did come in. Was Cheryl in here for her birthday? It was Cheryl's birthday the other day. Very near to Jan's. Right, I might do some berries in a second, but before I do that, I wanted to do some of these. Hi, Tara Creates 2 from Greenville. Okay, so we're going to do a similar technique. Get the blending brushes. Take off the colour we don't want. Then put on the colour we do want. Okay. So we'll do that again. Ink up in green. Take off the green. Add the yellow. And try and put it somewhere that's going to show up. quite nice. Do that one more time. Put the yellow. Sometimes there might be some green left left on there so you need to just clean your brush off after you've done this. You see that? You wouldn't cut it, you would fold it. I was wondering that, Sheila, because look, if I show you the binding on, on the notebook, you see, it is stitched. Oh, and it's gridded, it's squat. So this paper is great for des card designing because you can draw. Hi, Caroline. Um, yeah, yeah. I thanks for saying that, Ch uh, Sheila, because I was th I was wondering whether to do that. Yes, I can explain about the different markers. Let me just um, I just need to think what I'm about to do first. I need to add another green. I don't know whether to go slightly darker or slightly different. Something like maybe a bit of shaded spruce. Okay, so the different types of pens that Stampin' Up! do, there's mainly two different types. There's water-based ones, which are called Stampin' Write Markers, and they say Stampin' Write Markers on them all. And there's a thin end and a thick, thicker end, so there's a brush tip and a bullet end. And they are available in all the colours that Stampin' Up! do, okay? But as I said, they are water-based, so they are a fancy felt tip, okay? For want of a better description. Then we have blender pens, and these are water-based also. So the way to kind of tell the water-based ones is that they're they're the round ones, the ones that when you hold them they're rounded. So the blender pen is just a, a transparent liquid inside that, and you can use that for um, picking up colour to colour in. You can use them for activating colour already down on the paper like I'm doing now with the owl so I'm kind of reactivating some of that colour just to pull it over and you can sort of see the difference then between those two owls now because 
I don't want my owl to be transparent, you see. So it's helpful to just add that bit of ink into there. And then the other pens that Stampin' Up! do are called Stampin' Blends. Stampin', oh, that's an old one. Find one that's got the modern... They redid the, how they did their writing so that it was easier to read. So these are Stampin' Blends and these are sort of rectangular to hold. And again, they come with a thin and thicker end. This is a brush tip. That's the bullet end. The brush end tends to get a bit munted after a while. I don't know what the other the technical term for it is. Frayed, perhaps that's the right word. But these are, or like all the pens, they are intended to be, re, um, what's the word I want? <laughs> that you're not meant to keep them forever. Then they're, they're not, you know, they're not designed to last forever. Um, but they can be you can direct you can recycle this plastic so basically you can just pull the pen apart and take the, the felt bits out discard those and then just recycle the plastic so these are alcohol based so they work in a slightly different way they're great for color blending and coloring in because um, you haven't got the problem of the water-based markers that tend to peel the paper after a little bit so there we go. Oh, now I can stamp some flowers in these. So I might just do that just for, again for a bit of extra colour. I'll grab the flowers out. So these are really pretty little flowers here. And I think I might do those crushed curry. Seeing as we've used crushed curry up there. It would make sense to use that again. So these fit very nicely. Like that. I've got to figure out how to do this one. Uh, there we go. And uh, I'm sure you'll tell me if I've missed one. I think we could do one. I'm kind of running out of space on that side. So this time I'm actually going to stamp the flowers first, then stamp the leaves. There we go. Hi, Christine Walcott. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, not Melissa. Yeah, the the stamping rights do come as sets, although I have heard people re-inking them. So I have heard of people um, basically getting their re-inkers and dripping ink one by one into the tops of these to re-ink them. Um, I don't know if you're meant to do that, if it, if it definitely works or not, <laughs> um, or whether you're supposed to mix a bit of water in with it, I don't know. But if you Google it, if you go on YouTube, you might find people who will happily show you. Okay, so, um, I'm wondering whether to put some I think the berries in here are a little bit too big, but I do want to get some additional colour in here, but I'm happy to do it with perhaps some um, dotage style. So there is this little clump of dots from Ringed with Nature here, and I think it would be nice to use the real red and maybe add some faux berries around the place so maybe I could just sort of add some berries to some of this greenery just to make it look a bit brighter in places there we go, that's, I 
think achieve what I wanted it to. Oh, you poor things have got allergies to cats. When you love your cats. Okay, I like that. I think all remains really is to do a bit of dotage. Oh, and the deer looks like he's floating. We can't have that. So let's pop a little bit of... Oh, now hold on. I've just got to figure which one is the, the newer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's how I check. I'd put it on my skin. To see which one is the which one's the one that's better okay so let's just do a little bit of grounding for this poor deer that is sort of floating around and then i'll just create some other grounding for these trees so they don't look again like they're just floating in midair Okay, that's a bit better, isn't it? I'll just darken up some of these trunks. I'm just going to put a fake trunk in here because it just feels like it needed it. Okay. And I think we need some tiny little bits of grass. The only thing is, I haven't really. The only thing we've got is this. If I ink this up very carefully. Just the tops of it. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> I wonder if I can actually put it on a block and do it that way. Okay, so I'm just inking the top. You know what, I might just do that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, it looks a bit boring behind there. So I might just go in with a stamped off. Or use so soft, uh, soft sea foam. <clears throat> Couldn't get my words out then. Where it's gone. Oh, excuse me. 
yes this this has got some texture behind it but this one hasn't so i'm just going to pop that in there okay that's better right is that like floral dottage what the the little dots it's just the dots from this one which i think is designed maybe to go in the flower possibly i don't know so Right, so dotage wise, I was thinking of using this one from Perched in a Tree because it is so lovely, this dotage. And I'll start light with. I was thinking of bringing the Tahitian Tide back in again. Get rid of these greens. Get rid of some of these stumps. I've got stumps everywhere. Oh, Grassy Grove. Yeah, it's gorgeous, Tara. Yeah, really lovely. Ah, oh, this spiral tree pattern reminds me of when I was a little girl and I would spend time with my dad when he was working as a lumberjack in northern Maine. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's lovely. Lovely to hear her stories you're reminiscing after you see images it's so powerful isn't it so i'm just putting some of this blue dottage about the place oh i've got a fingerprint there anyway hopefully hopefully shaz won't notice Okay, so that's it for the blue dotage, and I'm wondering now whether to come in with a bit of the old soft suede as we sort of come down the picture now. Now I'm wondering whether to use that, you know, the plastic stuff that kids use on their exercise books at the beginning of school year. I'm wondering whether to use this on, on here because to give it a bit of protection or I could varnish it. Do you remember the last time I made a notebook for my friend? I varnished it and it worked really well. It, it ended up being quite pliable. Now I am still wondering whether to go, I need a, a stronger flat, uh, leaf at the front. Oh, did I use that one? No, I didn't. Oh, right. And I haven't used Evening Evergreen yet. <laughs> yeah. Move your thumb to the right position. <laughs> I like that saying. That's so funny. Please remove your thumb to the right position. Basically, that's Martina's way of reminding you to give me a thumbs up. <laughs> ah, there we go. This is what I needed. I needed something bold. In the foreground. Actually, I don't know why I'm being a bit precious about these rings. I shouldn't really. Because otherwise it looks a bit unnatural. 
because usually when you're looking out in woods your your eyesight is obscured by something okay so this i hope this gives you confidence just to get stamping it doesn't matter if you're stamping over stuff because let's face it when you go to the woods you do not see a tree without seeing another tree in front of it so i've also just realized that my trees there end rather abruptly I could stamp another. Could stamp another tree there. Yes, and we'll do that. Get the crumb cake back out again. I say I was going to start I did this in it was pear pizzazz wasn't it and then did I put a bit of mint macaron over the top I think I did oh my goodness I have a proper mountain of stamps in front of me now Right, so we done. Anyone see anything needs doing? I'm just going to get a crumb cake pen and colour in my deer so it's not so see through. That is my only problem with this deer. He's a little bit, you see how he's see-through there? So look, by going over with a bit of crumb cake, it just helps. So I'm actually going to add a bit to the owl as well. Right. Just a bit more to the tree. I think I'm done. I'm just going to leave that there so I can do a screenshot of that later. So, to cut or not to cut, that is the question. So, okay, so I just need to cut a tiny smidge off the top, and then that should wrap round. Oh, now, hold on, that's not exactly the middle. So if I do that as the middle. Okay, so it's better if I start from the back. Oh, where's my drama gone? A ghosted deer, yeah. <laughs> now I'll do it now, Mindy. Just need to make sure I've got the glue up there ready.
wondering whether to use the other end actually. Hi Stamp and Create with them. So we're going to start with the back. And work our way around. So your Tombow has two ends. It has a fine end and a thick end. And the thick end is particularly good for if you're needing to move the glue around and make silly noises. Like that. Excuse me. That thing will get me to the end of this. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Pardon me. cloth yeah i was discussing about laminate um not laminating but um uh what's the word i have sort of plastic that could go over it or i was thinking of varnishing it i do have that varnish that i used on the last notebook that i made so i am wondering about using that See if there's any glue left in this one. There's a bit. Thank you, my um, uh, hard user. There we go. Thanks, Glenna. It's a whoopee glue, yeah. <gasps> Maybe that's what attracted the bots. Yeah, I'm not sure Mod Podge has a, uh, it, it basically is a UV, it needs some sort of UV protection. Yeah, we've, we've been having this discussion from time to time on this channel because we're realising that stamping up inks are not colour fast, so they're not archival. So the notebook has got a little curve on it. Hmm. 
<laughs> yep. Unwanted guests indeed. Oh, there's another little fun print. <laughs> there we go. I think that works. So you've got your sort of deer as your focal point. You've got a new owl in the foreground and various bits and pieces. And then you've got that whole bit of scenery. Um check what you guys can see I'll take that up a bit I'm just going to tidy my desk well no I'm not really tidying my desk I'm just moving stuff off the grid paper so that I can move this out the way and you can see that there we go right there you have it guys thank you so much for joining me today um so this is a very happy 60th birthday to shaz kc and i will be sending this off to her very soon so there we go spectra fix day gas pastel fixative will save the colors okay thank you martina yep Yeah, I managed to pick up, oh, excuse me, I managed to pick up some of these notebooks at a local charity shop and they're completely unused, brand new. They're stitched down the middle and I think I bought two and then I went in another day and they had more. So every time they put more out, I just buy them <laughs> because I, I just figure they make really nice gifts for crafters because, um, so yeah, you can draw sketches of cards and things like that if i if i show you some sketches i've been doing just to explain how useful they are for designing i was the other week when i was waiting for my phone to get fixed i had to pass the time a little bit in a cafe and i ended up doing quite a bit of sketching designs now I can't find them oh sorry oh where have they gone <laughs> Um, okay, I'll just show you this one. This is not what I did. I, I did plenty of others. So I'm just trying not to show you everything. Okay, so this is on gridded paper. So here, this is a sketch out actually of um, some of the classes that I do, just to give myself a bit of an idea. But when you've got grids, it's it, it's kind of a bit easier to do a design on. So. That's why I really like this dotted square note paper. It's really great for, for designing. So there we go. Happy birthday, Shaz. And let me come back and say goodbye to you all. What's that about, Carla? 45 years married. Oh. Oh, Mindy, the Mindy's wedding anniversary. Cool. Krylon has a triple thick seal. I'm not sure what you have available where you are. I use it for my signature stamping. It works great. It gives it almost a glassy looking finish. Well, I used, I'll tell you a funny story. I used, I used this stuff, the deco patch stuff last time and it worked fine and then i was doing i did some polymer clay jewelry and i figured oh I'll just varnish it with this 
anyway I got it out the other day and thankfully I was I was on a call with Jan Brandt at the time so thanks Jan and I got the jewellery out and it was sticky and it was squishy not squishy squishy but it was malleable anyway we figured that I should not have varnished it with this it reacted so do not varnish your photo po uh, your polymer clay in just any old thing because sometimes it reacts so let that be a lesson to you it's fine on paper um i i thought it was great on paper but i'm gonna just let this i'll let, I'll let shaz decide what she wants to do in terms of keeping this so there we go right thank you so much i'll quickly go through all the stamp sets now with you of which there are many i'll just pop that somewhere safe go back to there okay so we have wildlife wonder the owl and the whatever that is mountain air used that one that one and that one ringed with nature we use the tree rings the leaves the flowers the leaves the mushroom the fungi the stalks and that one ring uh, perch in a tree we use the branch and the dotage In gro with Grassy Grove, we use the deer, the trees, the whatever that is, the meadow and the knoll, grassy knoll. Beautiful French, beauty of friendship, we use the fig tree and the two foliage bits. That one, I use the fern. Now, if you've got Daisy Lane, you could probably use the fern out of Daisy Lane. Garden bird houses. Oh, I was going to use those. I didn't end up using them. Oh well. Use the branch. Oh, I could have had a little bird as well. Have I got space for a bird? Not really. Oh, if I thought about it, I would have had a bird perched on there. And to be fair, if I thought about this, and now I have done it, if I thought about it, I could have masked off the owl a bit better and maybe masked off the mushrooms. So when you do a design like this, and now you've seen me do it, it might be worth bearing in mind what you want to have in the foreground. And you stamp that first. So you could stamp the owls, stamp the tree trunks and the mushrooms and then mask those off, then stamp the rest of your background and then take the mask off. OK, so you can you can do it that way. Oh, uh, sleep well, Shaz. OK, so let me put that there for a second. The colours. I used were pool party, mint macaron, pear pizzazz, crumb cake, crushed curry, real red, the craft white ink, garden green, Cajun craze. Early espresso, evening evergreen, soft suede, Tahitian tide, shaded spruce, old olive, and I crept in soft sea foam at the end because I needed to do something. Oh my goodness, this is so high. Right, let's flip that over. That's quite a bit, isn't it? You know, it works. Well, it did work, I thought. Um, put these in a bit of order. 
so that you can sort of understand the colour scheme better. So we've got a whole heap of greens, lots of different greens, a yellow, two different, no, three different browns, Cajun craze in the red, and then some sort of bluey, bluey, greeny colours. Okay. There we go. Yes, a lot of colours. Yeah, a lot of colours. But then... You know, we've got we've got the sort of the snowy mountains that had to be the blues, then lots of different greens, and then the two browns, three browns rather, and then just a little bit of red and the yellow. Okay. So but I think it's worth it. Two stamp sets of those are missing from your collection. Oh no, Martina. I'm so sorry. Not really. <laughs> it's good we're friends, isn't it? <laughs> well, up to now we were. <laughs> right, if you're new to the channel, please remember to uh, love on me. Give me a thumbs up if you liked what you see. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I really don't mind. Um, also, subscribe if you'd like to find me again and also if you would like a catalogue current catalogue you can email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and find me on social media all that good stuff so lots of love to you all really lovely to hang out with you thank you for cheering me on and shaz many congratulations on your birthday and um, hope you have an exciting year to come <laughs>